What's up guys? Welcome to Huffman Half Tech and this is the update video to macOS Big Sur public beta 4. Now this update is the same as developer beta 4 so the changes that are here are the same changes that have been implemented on developer beta 4. If we go into my system preferences and then go to software update right here you can see that you know the system checks for an update and after checking for an update it just takes a little while you will see that there's an update available and it says macOS Big Sur Beta 4. Now this is because this is a public beta version. It won't say macOS Big Sur public beta 4. It will simply say beta 4 but if you have a developer beta profile you will see macOS Big Sur developer beta 4 and the software version of course as you can see is 11 because Big Sur is version 11 and this is my public beta profile that I installed in order for me to be able to get this update from the apple.beta Com. So if we click here where it says more information, you can see that for me, macOS Big Sur Beta 4 comes in at around 3.67 gigs. This is quite normal. And if you close this, cause this is a beta, we need to make sure we check our system storage as this is a beta and it comes with quite a number of issues. So if you go to about this mark section, you can see the build number that I have before updating, right? So I'm on macOS Big Sur Developer Beta 3 and the build number that I have before updating to macOS Big Sur Beta 4 is 20A5323i. Now this build number has an I at the end and the version of course is 11. And let's go into storage just to make sure we know how much space we have that is being taken up by beta 3 so that we can gauge how much beta 4 it's going to take, right? So as you can see here, I have about 1.07 terabytes available of two terabytes. And if we go into manage storage here, we want to see how much the system is taken up, right? So we want to see how much uh, storage is being taken up by the OS. It just takes a moment to calculate. And once it has basically completed calculating, as you can see here, it's completed, but there is no system storage, right? So this is a bug that is there apparently on beta 3. And for us to be able to see system, right? We can close this and come back here to manage. So system again didn't show up and apparently I'll have to wait a bit and there you see system. So system for me on beta 3 is taking up 24.06 gig. This is quite big for a system storage and it's taking more storage than it's supposed to. And also if we close this and go here, you will see that, you know, system is taking 24.06 gig. It's good that these values match. Now let's quickly update our Mac to macOS Big Sur public beta 4 or developer beta 4 since it's the same thing and then I'll be able to highlight the major changes and features that basically came with this update. Alright guys so our Mac has been updated to macOS Big Sur beta 4. This is the public beta version. If you go to the about section you can see that we have a build number that is 20A5343i. Now the previous beta which was beta 3 had an i and macOS Pixel public beta 3 has an i at the end so in terms of stability this is more or less the same. Now in terms of update size I have to mention that if you are coming from any other beta version of macOS Big Sur like beta 3 and going to beta 4 your update size will basically look something like this you know you see an update size that's around 4 gigs to 8 gigs however if you are coming from any other version that is not macOS Big Sur let's say for example Catalina or prior then your update size is going to be a large file. You might see an update that is between 12 to 15 gigs and so keep that in mind before updating. So if you're on Catalina expect a big update. So I am actually excited to show you what changes came after updating to macOS Big Sur Beta 4. So if you go to the about section of this Mac and go to where it says storage here, I have 1.08 terabytes of storage available after updating to Beta 4. Now before updating I had 1.07 so I gained some storage back and if we go into the system, this is the most important part. If we go into the system, you can see that yes, the, it, it didn't show up again this time around. Let's close it and go again to manage. Um, system is just taking a moment. 
hopefully it comes back quick but anyways if you go here you can see that system is now taking 10 gigs less so system for me on mark os big cell beta 4 has reduced by like 10 gigs and that is quite a large reduction and yeah as you can see here it's 15.72 gigs so if you're in beta 3 and it was taking over 25 or 30 gigs then once you update to mark os big cell beta 4 you might see a reduction in the system storage by a figure of 10 gig now in terms of boot time this update for me took about 15 minutes to update so it was quite small it came in at a small size so i can't complain but if you downloaded this update during the peak hour when apple first of all launched the public beta version then you know you might see a delayed update like by two or four hours because there's a large volume of people downloading the public beta at the same time so for me it took about 15 minutes now let's look at some of the features that came with this update while well, on beta 4 to be specific if you open safari right and then let's just enter full screen mode and then go to youtube it just takes a moment to load and as you can see youtube has loaded the first and most important feature that came with beta 4 if we search for like mk mkbhd right here he uploads i think he's one of the people who uploads full quality on youtube and play any specific video right so after the ad plays you'll notice that you know you'll be able to change resolution but we can't do that because of the you know ad but as you can see here you can now change your quality all the way to 2160p which is 4k so notice the difference once you put your quality to 4k so this is an update that came with mark os big cell beta 4 and i gotta say that you know i like this new safari now with regards to safari these are some of the features that came with uh, the update on mark os big cell and they were available on beta 3 we now have privacy tracking so any website that tracks you you'll be able to see how many trackers there are and also with safari you have built-in translation so let's go to a site like yahoo.fr which is a french site you notice that once i'm on this site i have this option to be able to you know translate the site by clicking here and then say translate to english if you are having issues with your translate um, then let me know how, and then i'll be able to show you or make a video on how you can be able to translate your safari pages to different languages so as you can see we've managed to translate it now another thing also that came with mac os big so if you use maps on the mac a lot you'll be able to know that we now have look around in maps and just keep in mind that your city at the moment might not be supported because you know apple is updating maps gradually and for me so far i've managed to test new york times square so in new york times square i have look around and also in certain cities in japan like yoshinayo i have look around so just keep in mind that this is something new and it's also rolling out the control section here as you can see has been improved and also we have new sounds when it comes to mark west big Sur. and as you can see here you can be able to sort of you know reduce your volume and edit the, your, your displays just because i'm using an external monitor so i'm unable to edit my brightness but it almost looks like this mark west big Sur has a small portion in this top corner for an iphone but yeah that's the new control center that we have there and then also we have widgets now unfortunately for me i'm using this secondary monitor so widgets are showing up on the main monitor but you have widgets now with mark os big Sur, there's also a new battery icon so if you go to the system preferences and go to the battery section here you can see that we have a new battery icon that looks like you know an iphone 3gs battery icon that we used to have back in the days and initially there was an ugly one and apple listened to the people and as you can see here we have a new one and also you are able to get you know your screen on time and your battery usage your energy usage and you have adaptive power right so that's something new that came with this update and something else also that came with this update has to do with sound so if you go into system preferences and then you select the portion where it says sound you will notice that we have quite a number of new sounds and also you have the option to turn 
play sound on startup so the chime that you hear when you start up your mac you have that if you use messages on the mac you'll be happy to know that it has been updated and also within messages you are able to pin conversation and messages and also facetime has been improved this update is mainly focused on privacy of course there's a ton of new features and changes as you can see the overall user experience and aesthetics has changed but there's also a lot of stability and privacy improvements as you can see by safari and also overall system security has been enhanced with mac os pixel something else that's running in the background that you might not be able to see is updates now if you are on any beta version of mac os pixel let's say you've jumped on the public beta today you'll be happy to know that you know your mac now updates faster when it comes to software updates something also that came with mac os pixel if you have up if you have the airpods you have unified sound so you can easily switch from your iphone to your ipad to your mac simultaneously by just you know playing a sound on the Mac or playing on any device. And that's something new that came with this update. Also, the music app has been updated and photos too has been updated and you have improved spotlight search so if you use spotlight search you now have more advanced Im improved search and it can show you even files that previous version of macOS like catalina couldn't show you so basically that's about it for me guys when it comes to macOS big sur this is the public beta version and it's the first public beta version we saw after seven weeks since WWDC kicked off. And I'm hoping from this time onward, Apple will release, you know, the public beta version alongside the developer beta version. So an update to this version that we have today might come next week, either Tuesday on the 11th or Thursday on the 13th or the week after between the 8th or the 20th of August. So basically that's something small and that's about it for me when it comes to Marquez Pixel Public Beta or Developer Beta 4. They are more or less the same and if you like this video please leave a like and hit subscribe down below and thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and I would definitely see you in the next video.